Okay, let's try this one. 24 is 150% of what number? Okay. So, there's a number of ways of doing this. Um, one way is I'm going to turn this sentence into an equation, right? So, we're going to write 24, and in place of is, we're going to put equals, right? 150%. I want you to turn that into a decimal, right? So 150%, by the way, is 150 per cent, per 100. 150 over 100, right? Which gives us 1.5, right? Because 150%, the decimal point is here. You need to move it one, two spaces back here. And now it's 1.5, right? Of means multiply in math. So of means multiply. Of what number, what number we can, what should we put in for that? You could use any type of letter. N, X, Y, A, B, C, right? Let's use X, right? So this sentence becomes the equation 24 equals 1.5 times x. Now we need to solve for x to figure out what number it is. x is being multiplied by 1.5. So to get it on its own, we need to divide by 1.5, right, on both sides. So on the right, the 1.5s cross cancel, and we're left with x. On the left, we have 24 over 1.5. Okay, and we need to figure out what this is. So there's a number of ways of doing this. Um, I'll start with a long division for fun, I guess. Um, well, no, actually, I'm going to do a different way. I'm going to show you this way just for fun. It, it would be nice to get, um, I was going to say you could multiply the top and bottom by 2 because 1.5 times 2 gives 3. But I guess let's, let's just multiply, let's just stick to something we've been practicing. So... Basically, I just want you to multiply the bottom by something so that we don't have a decimal in the denominator anymore, right? So, what would you 1.5 times what would get rid of the decimal? So, 1.5 times 10 would do it. That's the way we usually do it. 10 times 1.5 gives... 15, doesn't it? And we must also multiply the top by 10. 24 times 10, 240, right? And now we can simplify this fraction to figure out what the number is, right? So 5 to 15 goes 3 times. 5 to 24 goes 4 times. Remainder 4. 5 to 40 goes 8 times. So you have 48 over 3, and you can simplify that also. Can you press pause on the video and simplify this? Hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. 3 into 3 once, 3 into 4 one time, remainder 1. 3 into 18, 6. So we get 16 over 1 or just 16. So x equals 16, right? Um, and just, I was just going to go over, I mean, another way was 24 over 1.5. We could have, for example, seen, look, if I multiply this by 2, then I'll get rid of the decimal because 2 1.5s gives me 3. So just for fun, we could have multiplied it by 2 over 2, and that would have given us 48 over 3. And as you know, 48 over 3 gives 16. So that was another way of doing it. 
So x equals 16. Does that make sense if you think about the problem? 24 is 150% of 16. We could check that. 24 is 1.5 times 16, 150% of 16. 16, 1.5, I'm gonna multiply really quickly. Five times six, 30, carry three. Five times one is five and three is 80. Put down a zero. One times six is six. One times one is one and add these numbers together and we get um, four and one, two, 240. But we have one decimal point in the multiplication. So we need to have one decimal point in the answer, 24.0 or 24. Okay, so that worked. So it, it checks out, right?